the People's Progressive Party Civic says when the coalition assumed office, they indicated that the economy was bankrupt and there wasn't money in the public coffers. Yet the government finds money to offer big increases to senior functionaries, including government ministers, opposition members of parliament, parliamentary secretaries, among others in high offices of the land. The opposition is condemning this, calling it the big lie. The PPPC wants the immediate rescinding of the decision, terming it disgraceful. For the opposition, the government has been in office a mere few months and is not deserving of any increase. Well, if you're talking about a good life for all, you can't be talking about a good life for a few. Because obviously, what we have heard and what we have seen in the Gazette is a good life for a few, which I described as an elite. The decision taken by the government, according to the General Secretary of the party, Clement Roy, is a clear case of meat for the boys and bones for the workers. It is to be recalled that while in opposition, the APNU AFC coalition had promised to bring Guyanese, quote unquote, a lean and mean government. Also, a good life was promised to all Guyanese. All of this has now gone for China. The salary increases which Guyanese taxpayers will have to bear the burden comes at a time when rice farmers, sugar workers, and the Guyanese people as a whole have become disenchanted, disillusioned, and totally fed up with an uncaring Granger administration. On the thought that increases might help to fend off corruption, Roy maintains that there is no empirical data to suggest that there is a correlation between the two. There are different schools of thought and different approaches by individuals. I think it all depends on the character of the person. There are many people who work and they don't pay, you know, they don't make demands for increases in salaries and things like that. So it depends on a whole host of issues, but I do not necessarily agree that because you're drawing on one pay packet, you ought to draw another pay packet somewhere else. And that is precisely the problem we have in some government agencies in the department. The opposition members of parliament, in addition to the leader of the opposition, will get increases. And so far, no decision has been taken by the party to accept or reject the increases. The party will first hold consultations before a decision is taken. But for the PBPC, what has been allotted is chicken feed compared to what ministers will receive. We will have to discuss the matter now that it has been gazetted and we've seen it publicly for the first time. Because yeah. at the beginning, it was just a leak in the press that generated interest, questions and so forth, and now we're seeing the real...